Supporters of deposed President Mohamed Morsi were on the move on Friday. In Cairo, Giza, Alexandria and towns across Egypt, opponents of the military-backed interim government gave voice to their frustration and anger. Trouble flared in the capital, where police used tear gas against demonstrators outside a complex housing many of Egypt's private television channels. While thousands marched in the streets, a succession of foreign politicians and diplomats have been marching through government offices. US Deputy Secretary of State William Burns has flown in for his second visit in a month. He is due to meet the interim president, the prime minister and Muslim Brotherhood leaders. And the European Union's foreign affairs chief Catherine Ashton left earlier this week after being the first foreign diplomat to meet Mohamed Morsi since his ouster. I think they want the Muslim Brotherhood to accept that the political game has changed and they now have to, have to come back into it, even if it's on terms they don't particularly like. And I think that they want to encourage the interim regime to allow for that rehabilitation to take place without any use of violence to basically break up the sit-ins that exist around the country right now. The African Union is also here. The delegation urged the country's feuding factions to sit down and talk. National reconciliation that can only take place if everybody is involved, uh, including those who have the most divergent viewpoints, uh, and everybody must be committed to peace, must be committed to working one with the other. But so far, such exhortations have made little progress. The language of political discourse here is still the chanting of the street. Al Jazeera, Cairo.